Oh, well, welcome to the Florida Softball Network for the game between the Gators and Explosion 2011. Gators are the visiting team. Leading off is Fati. And she hits the first one to third base. Fielded cleanly. Thrown to one for one pitch. One swing. One out at bat for Fati. All right, brings to bat now. Number six, Cameron Solano, the left fielder for the Gators. And that one misses high for ball one. And that misses there for ball number two. So two balls, no strikes to count on Cameron. We are on the on YouTube here at Florida Softball Network. We want to thank you for tuning in. That one gets fouled off to the right side for strike one. So two balls, one strike on Cameron. Camp steps back in here for a 2 1 count. That one misses high outside to bring it to a hitter's count of three balls, one strike. And that one is bunted, but foul. Brings the count now full at three and two. And Cameron fouls that one up to stay alive. And the count remains three balls, two strikes with one out. And that one misses high for ball four and Cameron gets now on base as she jogs on down to first. That brings to the plate Avalo Fitzgerald, number 10. And Cameron goes on the pitch. And that throw is offline, and now Cameron in scoring position at second base with one out. And that's high for a ball. And that gets fouled back to the screen. There you 
Abel hits that one over in the drops between the shortstop and the left fielder. Batting for the Lightning, number 12, Addison. I guess that ball was caught, I was unaware. So a nice catch then, I guess, by the left fielder, the bat prior when Cameron was there. So I made that fix. So we actually have two outs with a runner at first base. And now batting Addison Held. Now misses outside, the runner goes and just manages to beat out the throw. Close play, but the field umpire calling safe. And now with two outs, Avalo standing at second base, Addison on a one ball, one strike count. That is fouled back to the backstop to bring our count now to one ball, two strikes. And a swinging strike three for the third out of the top of the first inning. And the Gators go down without able to get their base runner. They leave one on. And we move now to the bottom of the first. Explosion with their first at bats and a score of 0-0. You're watching the Florida Softball Network. Well, to the bottom of the first inning we move with a score of 0-0. And up to bat now is Tegan for the explosion, who watches the outside pitch for ball one. In the circle for the Gators, Avalo Fitzgerald, number 10, coming off of an injury. She's been out the last couple of tournaments, so happy to see her back in the circle. Catching behind the plate, Reese Kennerson. And she grabs the outside part there for strike one to bring the count even at one and one. Avalo grabs their strike two. All right, Tegan now down in the count by, with it being now one ball, two strikes. She has to protect here as Avalo looks to put the batter down. And that one gets hit to the left side of the field to stay alive at one and two. One ball, two strikes. Here's the delivery from Avalo. And that fouled away again over to the left side. Tegan staying alive with another foul there. Goes to the backstop. And the count remains one ball, two strikes. And another foul. Tegan working hard here, as well as Avalo. Pitcher batter duel. And the count remains one and two. And that misses high. 
Now the count, two balls, two strikes. And that one hit hard to the third baseman who fields it, fires across the diamond to grab there the out. Number nine, Julie. We're going to get well fielded there by Abby to fire across the diamond over to Haley. And the first batter of the bottom of the first for Weston goes down for the first out. Brings to the pl plate now, number nine, Juliana, who hits the that back to the pitcher. And a quick one pitch. Second out there for Avalo, taking care of everything herself right there. All right, now coming to bat number nine for Western Explosion, Juliana. Another lefty here. And that misses for ball one. That's just outside for ball two. Two and oh. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Avalo in the circle for the Gators. And again, misses just outside for ball three. Three balls, no strikes here for Juliana. Weston looking to get their first base runner on with a walk. Let's see what Avalo dials up here. And she misses high and inside for ball four. So a four pitch walk there for Juliana. Brings to the plate now Jocelyn, number seven. Number 12, KB. Take that back, number 12, KB. Now batting number seven, eight, three. Well, it's the top of the second inning now, and leading off for the Gators is Haley Hirsch. No runs crossed the plate in the first inning. Despite each team getting one base runner on. And the first pitch is in there for strike one. All right, no balls, one strike to count. Ooh, that one comes inside, but swung on for strike two. And Haley finds herself down by count of no balls, two strikes. That one gets fouled away to the right side of the screen. Stay alive. All right, no balls, two strikes to count. And again, foul back. And Haley stays alive here with the count remaining 0-2.
No balls, two strikes to count. And that one is going to be hit into center field for a single. Nice shot right up the middle. Gets the Gators with their first base runner on. Up to bat, number 11, Reese. For the second inning. Well, that brings now up to the plate, Reese Kennerson, number 11. Reese catching behind the dish for this game. Now her first opportunity at bat. And that pitch called strike one. And that misses low outside for ball one. One and one now the count. And there's a bunt. Well laid down, perfectly executed bunt. Advances the runner to second. Haley's at second and Reese now at first. Perfectly laid down bunt. Not much you could do with that in the field. Tough play to make. Now to bat number 16. the right fielder who made the third out in the bottom of the first inning shortly ago. Now on the offensive side of the ball. Now misses high for a ball one. And that's high for ball two. That one's hit high into the air, but drops behind home plate to the left side for the first strike. Two balls, one strike, now the count. We gotta take charge of that. And that one misses low inside for a ball and the runner's on the steal at the throw. And now we've got two runners for the Gators in scoring position with a count of three balls, one strike. All right, two RBIs out there for Luca. In the circle for Weston, Emma. And that is bunted foul to bring the count now full at three and two. All right, three balls, two strikes, full count here on Luca. No outs, runners at second and third. Emma in the circle. Luca Hansberger at the plate. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Well, explosion grab themselves their first out. Bat, number 22, the pitch out made by Emma. And now coming to the plate for the Gators. Is Peyton Williamson. Oh, 
And that misses high for a ball. All right, two balls, no strikes for Peyton. And there's a strike. Two one now the count. And that grabs the outside to bring the count even at two and two. And that one's going to get popped out of play behind the backstop. And Peyton stays alive with a count of two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Runners at second and third. The score, 0-0. Zero, zero. Peyton Williamson at bat. And a looking strike three. Well, Emma's put down the last two batters with strikeouts. Now to bat number 31, Kingsley. And brings to the plate now Kinsley Roman. That one grabs the inside for a strike. And that one just outside. Nice attempt by the catcher to frame that one. Brings the count now to one and one. And that one's lifted over to the first baseman who grabs that easily. And the Gators strand two as we move into the bottom of the second. Remaining scoreless, 0-0. Zero, zero. You're watching the Florida Softball Network. To the bottom of the second, we move here on the Florida Softball Network with the game between the Explosion 2011 and the Gators 13U squads. And first pitch misses inside for ball one. one called ball two. Two balls, no strikes. On the batter, Alyssa, number 13. There she swings and misses for strike one. Two balls, one strike. And that grabs the outside part of the plate to bring the count to two and two. And that gets hit to the third baseman, scoops it up, fires to first. 
and the Gators Number record their first Number out. Three. Number three, ends. Of the bottom of the second inning with a nice play by Abby cannoning over to first. Where Peyton is uh, playing first base for the inning. Well, now batting for Weston is going to be Emma, number three. That misses high for ball one. And that one's going to get hit straight back to the pitcher who easily feels it. Avalo throws to Peyton to record the second out of the inning. Now batting, number one, TT. All right, with two outs, Caitlin, number one, steps up to bat for Weston Explosion. And watches strike one. Avalo in the circle, Reese catching at first, Peyton at second. It's Kinsley, shortstop Addison, and Abby at third. And that gets fouled back for strike two. Holding down the outfield for this inning, Cameron in left field, Fati at center field, and Kira in right field. <laughs> and that's your Gators defensively for the bottom of the second inning. And again, another foul ball there. And the count remains 0-2 with two outs. Number four, Emma. And that misses outside for ball one. And that gets hit to the right fielder who grabs it there. Kira with the toss over to Peyton to grab the third out. And Western Explosion goes down one, two, three there at the bottom of the second inning. So now we move into the third score, zero, zero. You're watching the Florida Softball Network. We move now to the top of the third inning and leading off for the Gators, number one, Kira Sherman, who just made that last out in right field, firing over to Peyton at first. Now her opportunity at bat here. And she shows bunt for a moment, but pulls back on that high pitch to take ball one. And the next pitch misses low and outside for ball two. Two balls, no strikes to count on Kira. Hey, how are you? Good space, how are you? Mm, sorry, I don't want to like, drop all this shit. All right, two balls, no strikes on Kira as she steps back up to that. And that one is hit deep, but to the right side and foul out of play. And that one's a little tapper back to the pitcher. No one's playing first. And just like that, Kira reaches. No one covering first base on that hit. 
And the Gators now have a runner on with no outs and coming to the plate now, Abby Vital. That one misses for ball one. And that one gets fouled back over the backstop to the right side to bring the count now to one and one. Umpire calls for more softballs. Hoping some of these balls that have gone out of play come back to him. All right, one and one now the count. Runner goes on the throw, which is high. Catcher not able to hold on to it. And now the Gators have a runner in scoring position at second base with Kira. And Abby an opportunity to grab an RBI. And that misses high to bring the count now to three and one. Hitters count here. Hitters count now. Three balls, one strike, no outs. Runner at second base. Score is zero zero. The Gators looking for an opportunity to try to put one on the board at least. And that misses outside for ball four. All right, well, the first two batters for the now Gators here three, have reached base in the third right. inning. No, and we flip the lineup, and the leadoff batter, Fati, now comes to the plate with no outs and runners at first and second base. And that grabs the inside part of the plate for strike one. And Fachi hits that one foul to the right side behind first base. To put her down in the count, 0 and 2. And swings on the outside pitch for strike three. Well, that's the third recorded strikeout for Emma here. The first one in the third inning, though, as Fati goes down swinging on three strikes. Well, that brings now to the plate Cameron Solano. And Cameron watches that one sail high for ball one. Gets fouled off to the right side. Not a play. And now the count one and one. And that one misses for ball two.
Two balls, one strike. And there is a bunt right down first base. First base picks up the ball and quickly tags Cameron to record the second out of the inning. Well, two outs now. Runners advance over to second and third. And Avalo now comes to the plate for the Gators. Well, 60 feet away from breaking this 0-0 tie as Avalo steps in. And that one right down the river for strike one. Avalo and Emma sets the pitch. Misses low for a ball. Two and one now. And that one gets bunted foul. A little squeeze play looks like it was on. Brings the count now to one ball, two strikes. One ball, two strikes, two outs, runners at second and third. And Emma hits that, I mean, Avalo hits that one and that is gonna bring two runs across. And advancing on the throw to home plate. Avalo gets over there to second base. All right, well, a two RBI double breaks the ties. The Gators are now up 2-0 on the explosion in the top of the third inning. Now coming to bat, Addy, number 12, the shortstop. And first pitch taken for ball one. That's in there for a strike. One and one. And that one is going to get fouled off and out of play towards the third baseline. And now the count one ball, two strikes. And Addy pops that one up. Short, the pitcher calls the third baseman off and catches that one to record the third out, but not before the Gators are able to get two across on a hit there by Avalo Fitzgerald. So we move now into the bottom of the third inning with the Gators up 2-0 over the Western Explosion. You're watching the Florida Softball Network. Bottom of the third inning we go. With the Gators up by a score of 2-0 on Explosion. And the first one's just a tapper over to third base. Going to cannon that over to first. And Abby holding down the third base solidly here. Fires to Haley over.
So Bianca grounds out there to third baseman, which now brings to the plate number 21, Luana. He takes strike one. In the circle for the Gators, Avalo Fitzgerald. No one misses high outside to bring the count to one and one. And that misses high outside again for ball two. Two balls, one strike, one out. Here's a swing and a miss to bring the count even to two and two. And that is fouled off to the right side to stay alive at two and two. All right, Luana steps back in on a two-two count here with one out. Avalo about to deliver a 37th pitch. And that gets fouled back to stay at two and two. Fouled off to the right side, and we remain at two and two. And that is hit foul, but out of play to the right side to stay once again at two and two. All right, Luana staying here at two and two count. Avalo sets, delivers. And that's going to get puttered back and thrown to first base for the second out. So after a nice bat for Luana, she hits that back to the pitcher, Avalo, fires over to Haley to record the second out of the bottom of the third inning. All right, brings to the plate now Rebecca, number 14. And that's going to miss outside for ball one. Just must have missed outside to bring the count to two balls, no strikes. And that's high and outside for ball three. All right, three balls, no strikes here. Three pitches all missing. It's on Rebecca here, Tegan, update there. Tegan number four at bat for Weston on a 3-0 count. And that's right down the river for three and one. Here 
Here's a swing and a miss. On a rise ball for three and two. All right, the count now full with two outs on Tegan. And that's hit right back to Avalo, who again feels that one easily, tosses to Haley, and the Gators record their third out. All right, well, we've now finished three innings. We're going to move into the top of the fourth with the Gators up by a score of 2-0 over the West Explosion 2011 squad. You're watching the Florida Softball Network from West Palm Beach, Florida. Hey, we ask you now, if you have a moment, to take it and click on the subscribe button so you can be notified of all of our games here on the channel. A lot of great softball. If you play in the South Florida or Central Florida area on a team, hey, look your team's name up. You might be in our library of past games. Well, we want to thank you again for tuning in to FSN. We'll be back to you in a moment as we update the scoreboard. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Or any Now batting number seven, yeah. Haley. Well, the top of the fourth now with the Gators up on a score of 2-0 over Explosion 2011. And leading off for the Gators is number seven, Haley Hirsch, who played first base in that last inning. That one misses way high for ball one. And that's called the strike on the outside part of the plate to bring the count even at one and one. And Haley hits that one past the shortstop and is going to record her second hit of the game. Up to bat, number 11, Reese. So Haley two for two today. Now we're standing over at first base with the Gators up by a score of 2-0. And coming to the plate, number 11, Reese Kennerson, the catcher on record for this game for the Gators. And there's a back pick attempt, but Haley back easily. And that one is fouled back to the backstop for strike two. No balls, two strikes, runner at first, no outs. And Reese steps back in here. Emma for the Gators sets and delivers here. And Reese fouls that one back behind the right side of the backstop and out of play to remain at 0-2. And that one's popped up in the infield. It should have been uh, infield fly regardless. The batter was going to be out. Now to back number 16, Luca. And that brings to, the, to bat now Luca, 
number 16, the right fielder. Opportunity there for Haley to advance to second base, stays there, afraid to get thrown out, but as soon as that ball hit the clay, she should have been off and running. Yeah. Saw Travis over there at third base, kind of jumping up and down, a little frustrated with an opportunity to get her, get his base runner in scoring position. Well, and Lucas swings and misses for a strike. Let's go, let's go defense! Brings the count now to one and one. And that grabs the outside. For a called strike. And that one's gonna go to the screen. Haley kind of slowly jogging over to second. Come on D, let's keep working. Come on now. And that gets fouled away off of the catcher's mask. Gonna catch her a moment to kind of make sure she's all right, get a little breather. Foul ball rolls in, so the umpire can have one of those back into his pocket. And Luca prepares to step back in on account of two balls, two strikes. And there's a swinging strike three, and Emma grabs herself another strikeout. Now up to bat, number 22, Peyton. All right, well, two outs. Haley standing at second base, and Peyton now comes to bat for the Gators. She hits that one over to third base, and she fires across to record the third out of the inning. Well, Gators managed to get the leadoff batter on, but can't get her to cross as they strand one. The score remains Gators 2, Weston nothing as we move to the bottom of the fourth inning on the Florida softball. Number nine, Julie. Well, now we move over into the bottom of the fourth inning with Juliana, number nine, coming to bat for the Gators. Avalo Fitzgerald in the circle on 46 pitches so far as we are in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the first pitch shows bunt, pulls back for that high pitch to take ball one. And that one is hit over towards the shortstop who scoops it up, fires. Oh, but Peyton unable to field that at first. And she manages to get on over to second base. Now batting, number seven, Jocelyn. Well, an errant throw. First base of not able to field it, allows Juliana to reach at second, and Weston has our first runner in scoring position with no outs in the bottom of the fourth inning. Well, 
And that pitch misses low for ball one. Defensively for the Gators here, we have Reese Kennerson behind home plate. It's the catcher, Peyton Williamson at first. Kira Sherman at second, Abby Vital at short. Kinsley Roman at third for the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike one. One ball, one strike, now the count. Your Gators outfield remains there. All their starters, Cameron in left, Fati at center, and Luca in right field. Cameron left field, Fati center field, Luca right field. And the pitch from Avalo is hit, but foul to the left side and out of play for one ball, two strikes. Sounds like we got the timer going off. We're playing 70 minute games, so this is going to be the last inning here. Last opportunity working with three outs for Weston, down by a score of 2 0. And that is well outside, misses, nothing that can be done on that one. And now Weston with a runner at third base, just 60 feet away from putting their first run up on the board. And that one is hit into left field. The left fielder unable to field it, watches it go over her shoulder. And that's going to be a double that scores one. And now Weston is up on the board with the tying run standing in scoring position at second base. And Avalo pitches that first one in there for a strike. Strike one. Batting for Weston is Chloe. Standing over at second base, Jocelyn with that double that scored one. Grabbing herself an RBI. And that one gets fouled off to the left side to put the batter, Chloe, down by a count of 0-2. No balls, two strikes now. The count with no outs and runner at second. The tying run at second base. Well, with the shift from the catcher moving to the right side, that pitch sails outside as well. To bring the count to one ball and two strikes. Another shift by the catcher, the outside part of the plate. And that gets hit high in the air. Over to the right fielder who's gonna catch that. And no tag up attempt made. So the runner remains at second base. And the Gators are able to record their first out of the bottom of the fourth inning. Now coming up to bat. is going to be Alyssa, number 13, with Jocelyn standing at second, that tying run there. And Evelo pitches, and this is high outside for ball one. The runner, Jocelyn, over at second, might be looking for a delayed steal. Let's keep an eye on that. And that one's going to get hit over to the shortstop who fields it, fires to first, and records the second out. And with that, no the tying no run no able to get yes. over to third base.
So Weston hoping to get that runner to cross to be able to tie this game. With two outs, the Gators need to keep this ball in the infield or a fly ball to the outfield to record the third out and take this second game. And the first pitch misses inside for ball one on the batter, Emma. Emma, the pitcher for this game, trying to help her own cause out to help her team get back into this. Able to tie it if they can get that runner from third across. And the Gators doing everything they can to keep that from happening. Next pitch of the at-bat. And that's in there for strike one. All right, one ball, one strike now on Emma. And that misses. Oh, here comes the runner. She's going to be out. And they record the third and final out in an attempted steal of home plate on a passed ball that ricocheted off of the cage. Well, a lucky uh, bounce back off of the backstop allows Reese to squick, quickly scoop up the ball and beat the runner to home plate to apply the tag. And the Gators manage to take that game by a score of two to one over the Western Explosion 2011 squad. We're going to take a short break here. We've got a game off. We'll be back at a little just after 12 o'clock for the third and final seeding game of this Saturday as the Gators will move on to play the Chobe Amp squad. Well, we want to thank you very much for watching this game between the Lady Gators and the Western Explosion as the winning pitcher is Avalo Fitzgerald who records 12 outs in this game as the Gators win. Again, thank you very much for watching the Florida Softball Network. We ask for you to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and we'll see you from the clay.